Hi, today I want to add on some information about my ESP32 speed comparison. And today I compare the ESP32 with the ESP8266, as some viewers like to see, and also add a GPIO speed routine. And after this, I also explain how to improve the speed with more than one core. So first comparison is just the using of the power function and also the GPIO switching frequency. Just use the digital write function to switch on and switch off very fast the GPIO pins. And for some reason I do no other comparison today because the integer and sinus functions are not reliable, comparable and also also the fast Fourier transformation are not working on the ESP8266 so I cannot compare this with the ESP32. So this is the source code on the Arduino IDE and on the left side we have the ESP32 development module on TTY USB 0 and on the right side we have the Node MCU ESP8266 on TTY USB 1. And the only thing I do change from the last time, I just comment out the integer, square root and sinus functions and only use the new GPIO function and also the double function and also missing the fast Fourier transformation. And maybe I show you the GPIO function. This is here. This is just switching one GPIO pin too high and too low and this in a loop and this on both CPU. So let's upload our sketches to both and see the serial monitor what we get for result. So ESP32 ready, ESP8266 also ready and I use an upload speed of 921,600 bouts. So and on the ESP32 I use the same upload speed. So we can compare the upload speed to both also. And now let's use the serial monitor on ESP32 and the serial monitor on the ESP8266 and I just press the reset button so both of them start at the same time. So. There you have it. We have 0 0.3 seconds on the ESP32 and 1.1 second on the ESP8266. And as you see, the GPIO speed is just about four times faster on the ESP32 and maybe the calculation of the power function is about five times faster. So, but this is maybe a little bit boring. But before we dive deeper in the using of dual core, we have to mention the difference between using single core versus dual core or multi core. And this is because you have to consider that you don't have to use the GPIO pins in on the same time because then you can crash your code running on one CPU. And the same is for the serial interface. The serial interface is nothing more than using some GPIO pins. So you have to consider that you don't use at the exact same time the serial interface. And to prevent this, I show you some tricks. And the same also for Bluetooth and Wi Fi. Please don't consider using Wi Fi and using a separate task that uses much of the power of the core zero because this is exclusive in the Arduino IDE for Wi-Fi. So if you don't want to crash your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection, then don't use this technique to improve your speed on core zero. So this is the code for dual core on the ESP32. And we can make this a little bit bigger so you can see 
the difference. So first we just initialize the Siri interface and just initialize two different GPIO pins so we can use different GPIO pins for different cores. Then also this is important for the messaging of the results. We create a message queue to publish the results of the measurements and then we can create three tasks two for the measurements on one on core zero and you steer this on the last parameter so this is just for core zero and one task for core, core one this is on this end and also one task that displays the results. So the two tasks don't interfere with the displaying on the result on the serial interface. So let's have a look on one task that's started on core zero. We just print out some serial message and so the serial printing is just do one so this don't interfere very much with the running of the code. And then we just do the measurement and delay. And I show you what's the change on the measurements. So same on core one, we just start the task and do the measurements. And this is the result task. The result task just wait for a message to receive in the queue and then just get the message to this message parameter. And then we just print out just messages that we get on the message queue. So let's see the measurement. The measurement is nearly the same as before on the ESP8266 or the single core version. We first get our core ID so we know if we're running on core 0 or core 1 and then we separate the GPIO pins so we get different pins on core 0 and core 1. And then we just do the same with the power function. We measure the milliseconds and then print out the total milliseconds and store the results on the message array. And then we just send the message array to our result queue. And that's the trick for using multi-core programming. But maybe I show you also the difference. So I have to take out all the serial printing on one measurement so we don't interfere with the one core or the other core. So now let's upload our dual core sketch to the ESP32 and compare the results on the serial monitor with the ESP8266. So we start the serial monitor on the ESP32 and the same on the ESP8266. And now we can compare the difference. And as you see, one runs on core one and one on core zero. And we see both of the tasks with half the load uses up about zero two three seconds. So compared to our 0.3 seconds, we just get 70 milliseconds in total improvement. But compared with the ESP8266, this is much faster than before. So that's it for today. I hope you find this interesting or even learn something today. If so, just consider to give me a thumbs up for the video to support my channel. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.